Hi there guys, Sam here, welcome back to another video. And you join me going through the new Mark 8 Golf R and the new Mark 8 Golf GTI. Just some cool images and going through this um, sort of review, this article that's come out recently this week, which I'll link in the description. Just sort of going through the two cars and sort of deciding which one is best. And yeah, and sort of explaining you about it on the channel. So yeah, let's get straight into this one. So yes, welcome back to another video. I hope all you are all well. Now there's some really cool high quality images actually of these two cars and I thought this video would help people out if they want to see which one looks best, which one suits their own personal preference, um, as well as going a little bit around the pricing and sort of helping you out given your sort of situation and which car might make more sense for you to go for. So yeah, as you can see from these two images, <laughs> they look incredibly similar. I couldn't believe how similar they look like when they're in the same colour. I actually thought there was quite a bit of a distinction between the R and the GTI Club Sport before I saw this article. But actually, and this is um, even bear in mind that the Golf 8 R in this image and in this sort of review doesn't have the performance pack. So it doesn't have sort of like the big spoiler and stuff which the GTI Club Sport comes with as standard on the left. Um, and even without that, they look very, very similar. Same lights, same light bar, just a different colour. Same sort of underside of the car. Um, yeah, it's it's a they're very very similar looking cars, and yeah. So if you're going to choose between them, I think looks wise, certainly from the front, you would. I you know I couldn't tell between them. You know, I was going through these images and I was like, is that the R? Is that the Club Sport? And you have to kind of <laughs> double check and look back on it. Um, but yeah, that's my kind of opinion, sort of initially on the front of it. But yeah, we've got quite a few images to go through here, so let's um, let's crack on and go through these. The second one, yeah, a good sort of rear shot there of um, the Golf 8R with its, well, standard four exhaust tips. That's probably one of the main differences actually between this and the GTI Club Sport. But yeah, if you're not familiar with my type of channel, please do check out other content. I kind of go on about VW cars, Golf 8R, GTI Club Sport, the GTI, my own personal Mark 7 Golf R. Bit of such a great community on this channel. So, you know, if you want to be a part of it, please do subscribe and like and get involved. Um, I'm going to try and do a little bit more sort of like helping you out with your sort of exact situation. Try and do a few more premieres, which is what this video is going to be. And um, yeah, so if you want to have some free help and advice, then yeah, um, my channel is kind of the way to go. And um, yeah, again, I think um, this shot kind of, there's not too much to kind of tell from it. You've got the four exhaust tips. Um, it doesn't have the big spoiler. That's really it from that side. Moving on, you've got a better image of them, sort of the GTI Club Sport on its own. You get the extra decals on the sort of left-hand side. I did try to actually look up, because I've done videos around the 45th sort of Club Sport anniversary type edition, and I tried to check out on the VW website. Bear in mind, it's their official UK website, and it's quite a big market in the UK. They don't have one ounce of information about the car. Nothing at all. Nothing about ordering. Nothing even about a coming soon. Literally, it's completely dead. And I do feel VW are kind of dropping the ball actually on the whole, yeah, on the whole combustion engine GTI Club Sport and R. That you know they they know that in five years time they're just not going to be talking about it. Um, so I found that a surprise. You can you can pick it up from like um, different articles and even channels like mine. I'll talk about it. But um, yeah. The, people that are making it aren't talking about it, <laughs> which I find a little bit concerning, but essentially the 45 edition is similar to this. The reason why I mentioned it is because you get some decals and yeah, it's all about the styling, which is, I guess, is why you'd go for GTI Club Sport. Now, if you're not familiar, 296 brake horsepower in this, 316 brake horsepower in the R, but I've actually got videos coming this weekend on the R and around how that power is actually nearer the 350 brake horsepower mark so yeah a lot of a debate on that so yeah a lot of power and um bear in mind they're all the ea AAA engines they're all the same engines as i've discussed in videos before um it's just different states of states of tune they might change a few components to make sure it can can support the power um but yeah it's vw basically marketing the cars so they can sell them at different price points that's basically it but moving on to the next image, you've got the rear quarter of the GTI Club Sport. And um, that big wing kind of stands out quite prominent. And they do look good in white. Obviously, important to keep them clean. Um, it shows up any of sort of like the cheapy, nasty plastics, I think, quite well when a car's clean. Now, you've got like, um, obviously, the a gloss black diffuser looks really cool. And the 
gloss black spoiler looks great. Um, but then you've got like in the wheel arches now, unfortunately part of like legislation is you've got these really cheapy plasticky stuff. Um, I think it's something to do with like if the wheels stick out a little bit too much to give the car a bit of camber and um, yeah, a bit of a, a space, if that makes sense. Um, it, it can't be too wide from the bodywork, so they have to stick these things on to be able to get around that law. Again, regulations, oh my god, they're just, they're gonna unfortunately finish us off, <laughs> us car enthusiasts, sadly, but yeah, one of those things. You know, let me know in, your comment, in the comments what you think about the, the look of this car. Bear in mind this is a VW press car, so it's going to be looking as nice as it possibly can. Um, yeah, there it is. Going on the interior... I still think the less said about the VW interior is the better. Um, personally, I, I, I actually, I'll have to sit in it. I'll have to check it out in, in person. I have had offers actually from subscribers, from subscribers as well, um, just to check out their cars. Hopefully, when things get a bit better, I'll hope to do some sort of like some meetups and stuff like that. I think that would be really, really cool. Um, yeah, until you feel it and test drive it and judge it yourself, I can't comment too much. But from the looks, I'm not the biggest fan personally. Um, and from what I've heard, it can be a bit complicated to use. So, yeah, less said about that, the better. Golf R. So my favourite, the Golf 8R, I actually think it looks really nice. I think the white, again, it's the same colour as the club sport that you've just seen. But red instead of red brake calipers, you've got the blue brake calipers. Instead of the um, red light bar, you've got the blue light bar. That's kind of the main thing. Um, I'm not seeing a massive amount of difference other than that. Um you know, obviously suspension's lower over a normal sort of golf eight, so you get that sort of a little bit more of a squat down stance. Um, yeah, I'm I'm liking that. The the front front quarter looks very very cool. Um, yeah, let me know which one you prefer out of the two. You know, no styling uh, sort of uh, bits on it. Um, color coded sort of like um, side skirts. Yeah, it's all very simple, all very very nice. Um, and the main difference, obviously, between these two cars other than the power, is the four-wheel drive system, which on the road, you know, I've driven so many front-wheel drive cars, and I've driven so many cars, they just make so much sense, so yeah, that's <laughs> that's always going to be my advice to most people. The rear quarter actually is a bit of a letdown without that spoiler, I think it looks a little bit too plain, um, personally, I mean, it looks subtle, and I, I think... What I always love about these cars is that they're so crazily fast in reality, in the real world as well. Um, particularly as both cars have DSG gearboxes as well, they they don't have to get a shift on. Um, it's it yeah, it it kind of can surprise other people on the road, and I quite like that. I like that under the radar subtle effect, and I think that's what the Golf R has done well. That's what I love about my Mark Seven Golf R, and I think this does it well. But Rear quarter of my Mark 7, particularly in free door, I just think looks miles better than this. Again, need to check it out in person, need to get that hands on feel. Please forgive me on that side because we are in lockdown for the third time in the UK. Um, test drives aren't available until the 5th of, 5th of April. Um, so that sort of stuff I hope to bring to the channel as soon as I can. Moving on to the interior, um, actually, I mentioned the interior not. <laughs> to not talk about too much when you saw it from the GTI Club Sport, but actually in the R, you get those extended paddles and you get the blue interior. Suddenly from that image, it doesn't look too bad, but yeah, it's the same, essentially. You're not getting any difference in terms of how things work, um, so I'm not going to dwell too much on this image. Um, but yeah, the blue touches are kind of the main difference, really. Um, I would actually say the blue mats, which you can just about see in this image, I actually think makes the car look quite cheap. I fitted those sort of blue mats to my um, my first ever car, which was like a seven hundred pound Fiesta from the year two thousand. Um, yeah, and I you know picked them up for like fifteen quid, chucked them in the car. Ah, uh, you know this is a a forty grand car. Um, I think they could try harder. Is my advice on that one. So a cool image. Now you can certainly see from this particular image, particularly with the wheels and the red brake calipers and the decals, and you can see the spoiler a little bit more, and the red touches, and the red GTI badging on sort of like the side, just under the wing mirror. The aggression is certainly there a little bit more. Um, I'll certainly give it that. Um, yeah, 
that that's it i think it looks a bit plasticky around sort of like the side skirts i think that shows up a little bit more in comparison to the r which was body colored in that particular car that was tested um i get it it's designed so that you know those cars get stuck those parts of the cars get stone chips and all sorts of stuff but i think it makes the car look cheap um a gloss black look even if it is plastic always looks better for me um so that's maybe one of the main main differences um yeah it looks like diamond cut wheels as well they look like they're not too bad to clean actually just because of the way they're designed so that's quite handy um but yeah it's uh, you know it's all personal opinion what do you prefer you know do you prefer the look of this to the to the ar that's kind of the main overall topic of the video the rear quarter yeah you can see how that spoiler does does improve that rear end you know just just picture it without it <laughs> and you're probably not getting a too much dissimilar car to the r um you can see the decals obviously twin tailpipes and um, the red brake calipers kind of attract your attention to it a little bit more. It's got that little bit more aggression. I actually quite like the side skirts, um, the side decals, sorry, along the um, sort of driver side door and the passenger side sort of front door because it's not too in your face. It's just nice and simple and easy. And yeah, something that could probably be peeled off if you don't like it. So it's not it's not the end of the world on that side. Again, front image of the R may be too understated for some. Um, but again, it's all your personal preference. You can see what I mean about the gloss black effects that you just don't really seem to get in the club sport. So this is definitely VW trying their hardest. It's the top of the range goal for the end of the day. So they're going to give it their all. I guess the only downside about using these blue light bar, the blue sort of touches on the brake calipers and sort of along like under the wing mirror, you've got the blue. You could be mistaken for this being a GTE, which it most certainly is not. But I think this is actually intentional by VW. Um, I know they've used sort of blue touches before as their sort of signature colour in the R. But I think they're showing where this type of model is going to go down in the future. Um, yeah, that's just my personal opinion. But yeah, you know, if I hadn't gone on about this car for so long and brought up such a great community, I'd look at this and say, oh, that's a nice GTE. Is that really what you want in your car? I personally don't. Um, so yeah maybe you need to maybe you need to get it in blue so that it blends the other blitz of blue in i think that's probably the best way to do it but there's nothing wrong with this white color and yeah it doesn't it's a weird one isn't it it doesn't offend me <laughs> um and i guess that's never a bad thing about the car if that's what you're looking for um rear quarter i've mentioned it before i think these are good direct comparisons to the you know great images taken here and obviously link in the description to the article that i've been going through um yeah it's it's a cool car but it's just you know you could just say it's a golf 8 with a exhaust couldn't you and some fancy alloys that's literally it um so yeah very easy on the modification front one thing that i will just bring up actually is the tail lights which are led i'm a, not a big fan of these sort of small indicators um the ones that sort of go from left to right you can barely notice them on the road i just find that they're completely impractical i've just it's just a random gripe from my side of things i think bigger is better and yeah i don't understand why they sort of shrink it down um to such a small size obviously it's to save money on led costs and stuff but yeah that's just my little gripe there on that one that that's actually the last image that i'll, I'll go through and i'll leave it on um <laughs> i'll leave it on this image actually let me know your thoughts in the comments um which one do you prefer the look of? Um, do you think there's a big difference? I'm sort of going through this particular article just to spoil it because you've got so far into the video. So thank you for that. Um, and I will give you the, the lowdown of what the article is all about. In summary, they said that the GTI Club Sport was better. I think that was a decision based on cost because it's £2,000 less. And they did this all like finance PCP type thing. And they were like, oh yeah, the GTI Club Sport's the way to go. But actually... The R's not too bad, but it's still not that good enough. And it was, they basically, it's basically, it's a more fun car because it's slightly lighter and it works better. But yeah, I'm, I'm all for the R personally. <laughs> I'm in the R camp. I think it's built up that, that name, which will send it through and it will protect you in the long run on residuals as well. So yeah, they said it was a good all rounder, but they went for the GTI club support in this. They mentioned a couple of other golfs towards the end to say which ones were good, like my Mark 7 Golf R, the Mark 5, the Mark 1. And yeah, and that was kind of the article. But thank you so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed going through these images. I thought they were really high quality, actually, which is why I wanted to share them with you all. Um, and yeah, I wanted to discuss it. 
and um, help you out. But let me know um, if you enjoyed this type of video. I want to try and get more interaction with my certainly my audience to help them out. It's such tricky times. I just and I know and I I'm so passionate about cars and I I like to share my thoughts and my understanding of where things are in the market to to help you out at your certain time. You know I'm not a salesman. I'm not someone who just wants to take all your money. I just want to help people out. And um, I think I can do that via the channel. And um, yeah, hopefully, and I have helped out people in the past who've gone and got these type of cars, um, particularly the Mark 7s as well. Obviously, the Mark 8 R is very new. Um, yeah, so subscribe, like, share if you've enjoyed this type of video and if you enjoy future content and previous content on here. And um, yeah, I'll catch you again for the next one. But listen, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you again next time. Cheers, guys.